Namaste and welcome to High Tower Tarot. This is King Gaia bringing you guys our weekly free tarot tutorial. Thank you for supporting our virtual classroom and for allowing me to be of service to you. Just like uh, collective readings, our tarot tutorials are timeless, they're timely and on divine timing, meaning perfect for you whenever you find them. Okay, so whenever the universe guides you to my door or my table, that's when you're ready. You're on the right path worthy you know um there's always a message here for you regardless of the nature of my videos your spirit guides your higher self will find a way to turn me into your messenger your teacher or a mirror image of your potential you know so um be open to receive <clears throat> returning returning members and subscribers if it was good was good collective thank you so much for your love and support i am here for you come as you are if you are new to my channel welcome to my table i am so glad that your intuition led you here who am i i am a metaphysical teacher and shadow work coach and i focus my spiritual coaching on purpose alignment and authentic self cultivation and i use tarot cards and oracle cards as a tool for self-awareness self-discovery, self-empowerment, and self-mastery, all of it. And, you know, I share forecasts and readings and tutorials and experiences right here on this channel. Everything that you need to know about me and my offerings, event calendar, and how to book a private reading, a session, or tutorial will be posted on the description section below. Um, so before we dive into today's teachings, of course, Please go ahead and, um, you know, step into your power and claim your seat on this sacred vessel. Make it official. Subscribe. You know, you were divinely guided to be here with me, so allow me to deliver. When you subscribe, you join our collective and you align your frequency so that I can channel messages for you, right? Um, if by the end of the video you realize that it could benefit or entertain people that you know and love, please share with them, you know, be my guest, the more the merrier, and I thank you for that, and last but not least, if you're interested in learning how to read tarot, technically and intuitively, intuitively, <laughs> solidify, or, or simply just solidify your um, in-depth um, car-by-car competency, or just simply sharpen your, your reading skills, if you, you know, if you're not new to this then just consider becoming a member of our tarot collective or join any of our weekly on-demand tarot study sessions. Um, I believe that learning tarot requires practice, devotion, and deep exploration, and that's what we're doing here, okay? We help with the initiation, the cultivation, and the strengthening of your connection to tarot, okay? Um, Hi, Tower Tarot is my um, official mentorship, and... Um, what we do here is, you know, it's self-paced, it's also coach-guided, and um, we are devoted to the interpretation, the ongoing interpreta interpretation and integration of Tao in our day-to-day -day life, you know. Um, thank you for listening to all of that, and now we're going to get into our tutorial. I'm just simply, you know, dividing the cards by uh, suits. Um, and it is my preference the way I do it. Um, you know, you can separate them in whichever order, but I I like to do may you know mayor arcanas, ones, swords, pentacles, and cups. Okay. Um, today we're going to explore uh, unique objects. You know, we're exploring tarot symbology. We've been exploring symbology for a while um, this year in late 2022. Um, and today I want to bring forward six unique symbols um, that are very um, noticeable, very obvious symbology, of course. Um, the first unique object... <laughs> that I want to bring forward is a blindfold. The blindfold, um, we can find it in the Two of Swords and the Eight of Swords, right? And um, blindfold 
world in tarot of course it's very similar to whatever the meaning of a blindfold is not being able to see you know but in a particular reading is not seeing clearly you know or someone refusing to acknowledge the truth you know this is denial this is someone hiding the truth you know this is our inability or unwillingness to see things clearly you know this is not affecting the facts and there's also a need for research um i would also like to interpret the blindfold as a need for introspection um either force or voluntary you know um this is you not wanting to see and this is you um that this is you knowing that the only way to see is inward the solution the decision the choices whatever is troubling you right now can only come from within no outside no outside influences can make a difference right now so very much introspection you know this is avoiding and this is you know this is this is kind of like um this in in this case it's kind of like blocking you but in this way it's in this card is but it's helping you it's forcing you to to look inward right um the next symbol i want to share with you today is um the crown a crown you will see a crown in every single king and queen king and queen crown okay king and queen crown sorry i was like off um let's see here king and queen king king and queen crowns and of course king and queen crowns and I believe the Empress has a crown. Um, Emperor, this is kind of crownish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a crown. Um, crown. Mm -hmm. And uh, here is very subtle, but that is a crown. Don't don't let don't let it fool you. It's a crown. Um, justice crown. Okay, lots of crowns. The tower, crown, crown chakra, of course, crown, 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 lots of crowns in, char in the tarot. Um, it's regal energy, it's authority, okay, it's crown chakra, but it's also, believe it or not, moon cycles. Um, okay, right here, the crown, you know, truth, power, okay. Is there any other crown here? Yeah. Okay. Um, symbol number two, object number, actually number three for today is a globe, you know. And the globe is going to be... Okay, here two of so two of ones right here. World. I don't know if in this particular deck the world card is obviously no. There's not. Some of them they actually have the world. Um but the world card the world not the work card, the world, the the object, you know, this showing up in a reading um, relates to travel. It relates to expansion. It, it could mean something related to global, like the internet, global awareness. It's also big picture vision. It speaks of wholeness um, and speaks of manifestation, grounding from 5D into the world, into 3D. You know, this is manifestation. And here it's very clear. It's like the words in your hands type of deal. That's the energy, you know. Um, 
there's so much that can be done that you cannot even comprehend, you know, this potential. Um, also, I want to talk about um, seeing a hand, you know, the hand in, you know, in a title reading. Um, all the aces have a hand. Hand. Right? Hand. 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 This is the most of Of course, when there's a person, there's hands. But when the main energy is hand, it's handing you something, presenting you something, the energy is speaks of our ability to receive, to give and receive. It's opportunities that are being presented, they are being handed, or they are available to us. Okay? Um... Another important symbol is um, the picture, and it's on the star car. Uh, speaking of handing stuff, um, okay, let's see if there's another picture like. Um, this is more of a cup. It's more of a cup. It's not a picture. Um, let me see, in the cups section, in the cups, suits, no, pi no pictures, just cups, okay, yeah, look at the difference in this cup and everyone else's, mm -mm -mm. <clears throat> the picture is, is a water vessel, it's a very, you know, typical representation of Aquarian energy, um, the water barrier. Um, but in a reading, when you see that, it speaks of you being the container, you being the best. You know, you going to the renewal. Um, you, your energy, you know, a clean slate. Um, you know, absorbing or giving, receiving, you know, um, holding, um embracing what is your vessel about right um the last symbol for today i want to keep it quick and simple today um is the horn and the horn um the horn we'll see it in the devil's card uh -huh. devil's card Horns. Okay. okay. Horns. Um. Give me a minute. I think there's mm, the fire. Okay, it's not here. Where's the emperor? I think the emperor. Hmm. I think it's the horns here too. Okay. Which is kind of like, it's going to be interesting interpreting this now. Um, but, 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 but no more horns, making sure. Okay, no. Okay, so horn. Um, <laughs> horn, in this particular context, speaks of the thin line before, you know, the thin line in between leadership and dictatorship right there's such a thin line if you push it too hard you know um this is um in the devil card of course speaks of devil evil devil characteristics you know and um when we use the the horn um you know as an instrument, you know, like a sound instrument, um, like it is used, okay, here is, it's just a trumpet, but in some tarot cards, they use a horn to be the alarm system for judgment, so, you know, 
it is victory, it is triumph, but it's also an alarm of potential despair. So the association will always be, you know, it will have that dark negative connotation of darkness and shadows and the unknown and alert and be careful and beware. Okay. Um And that completes our six symbols of the day. So we went over blindfold, the crown, the globe, the hand, the picture, and the picture and the horns. Okay. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Please let me hear from you. Post your comments, your questions, and topic suggestions. And please consider joining High Tower Tower Collective. Um, I hope that you can make it to our next Tarot study uh, session. Members and non-members welcome. Um, we gather weekly for in-depth arcana, card-by-card -card exploration, special layouts, practice readings, and dissecting unique case studies. Thank you for watching. King Gaia out.